Introducing the Neighbor's Probe. This is an assessment instrument used to assess frication involvement. As you can see, it has a curvature on the working ends and it is very similar to the Marquis Probe where it has the three millimeter markings. The tooth that I'm holding is a maxillary molar. It is trifurcated. So all maxillary molars, including the first premolar, is trifurcated. So to assess the frication involvement, you want to first find the correct working end. If I hold the neighbor's probe against the tooth surface, you can see how the probe wraps, rolls, and hugs right into the frication. If I flip it to the opposite end, you can see how the probe is not adapted and it's very difficult to roll into the frication. The tip is pointing towards me, so that is the incorrect working end. Going back to the correct working end, you want to start right around the distal line angle, and I like to do a very light assessment stroke as I feel for that frication. If I can enter the frication up to one millimeter, that would be a grade one frication. And you're into about the silver marking. If I continue and feel greater than one millimeter, and I can go about a third of the way, but not passing through the frication, I'm not hitting the palatal root, that is a grade two. If I can enter the frication completely through and through, and I'm assessing, I can feel the palatal root, and I cannot clinically see the frication involvement, that would be a grade three. A grade four frication would be that I can continue and feeling the palatal probe, passing all the way through the frication, and I can clinically see the frication involvement, so the patient does have recession, that would be a grade four. Okay, that's how you assess the buccal side. Assessing the lingual frication involvement, you do have this palatal root, so you would start right around that mesial line angle. Again, I use a light sweeping motion. And once I feel that frication, if there is a frication, I will roll right into that mesial surface here. You also need to assess the distal frication on the lingual surface. So I would flip my neighbor's probe, make sure I have the correct working end, so you can see it rolls and it can adapt right around that lingual. So you would start around the distal line angle, use an assessment stroke and roll right in between the two roots and assess that distal lingual frication. Again, this is for a maxillary molar. For our mandibular molars, you do have a bifurcated root. So, you would just assess the buccal frication and the lingual frication involvement. So you would just start from the distal line angle, use a little sweeping walking step, and assess right into this frication involvement on the buccal side, assuming this is the lingual. Again, you would flip your instrument and assess the lingual I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate on the type of knot now, and I will assess tooth number three. Again, I, you can still have a modified pin grass. I'm using an extra oral fulcrum. Finding the correct working end, I know this is the correct working end because I can roll and it adapts nicely into the tooth. If I flip it, and I hold the neighbor's probe on the facial surface, you can see the tip is not adapted and it's coming away from the tooth surface. So flipping it back to the correct working end, I have a modified pen grass, extra oral fulcrum, good ergonomics. I'm going to insert the, the neighbor's probe subgingively. I'm using a very light sweeping motion, similar to an explorer, an exploratory stroke and I feel the opening between the two roots. And I am able to roll into the frication and I am going through and through. 
So I can't clinically see the furcation, so this would be a grade three. Okay, so that would be assessing the buccal surface. On the lingual surface for maxillary molars, I'm going to assess tooth number 14. Okay, so again, there is that palatal root. So you have to assess from the mesial line angle. Okay, you're gonna do again an exploratory stroke. I have an extra oral fulcrum. I'm wrapping and rolling right into that furcation onto the mesial. I can only go about one millimeter, so that is a grade one. Once I assess the mesial furcation on the lingual surface, I'm going to flip to the opposite working end, making sure I have the correct working end. Now I will assess the distal lingual furcation on tooth number 14. So again, I have a modified pen grasp. I'm gonna insert right at the distal lingual line angle. 